what the heck motivates you to be a teacher? That's what everyone does in this room. What motivated you to get there? To me, it, I like to relate my experiences to a group of people that are learning. And I'm sure there's a ton of other reasons that motivated you to be a teacher. Once you get your answers from each of your tables, Heather's gonna go into that in a little more detail, what it is that motivates you. So let's take a couple of minutes, just go across with your partner and try to come up with some ideas as to what motivated you to become a teacher. <laughs> um, I kind of reached the mastery of, of my field at EMS. I became a critical care paramedic. I realized there's no place else to go. I really have no interest in managing people or doing the business side of, of EMS. Um, so what else could I do? I've always been interested in coaching or even sharing. Even with my colleagues, I expected even if they were lesser trained, that they would practice to the scope of their, uh, of their training very top of their scope, and maybe even pushing the envelope a little bit in terms of what legislation says might be legal and what might not be. Um, so I've enjoyed that teaching all my life as I have a little bit of a learning disability. Um, so I try to take learning and make it easier for somebody else to understand. And much like Vince said, I like to go out and train people so that I don't have to fix all the machines, all the world's problems. I want a team of people, I want a team approach. So in EMS, we work a lot as a, in a team. So that's kind of why I became that teacher. It kind of just made things into a natural progression for me. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> so, oh, Scott. I forgot to tell you. Yeah. The other thing is that one of the things that I do is I a reason to get up in the morning and go to work, or even if a call would come out, it's like, all right, let's go make the world a better place. I like that. And when you talk about you, you hinge on this idea of interest. And I was listening to some of the other groups, and interest plays a key role in what motivates us to be good instructors or what motivates us to do whatever it is that we do. And so goals are come from the interests that we possess, essentially. They come from inside of us or that intrinsic motivation, but they also come from situations that we've been influenced by. Scott, your example of you felt that you could go as far as you could go in the area that you were in, where can you continue to make the world a better place, but instilling that in others to go forth and, 
be great and do those things. And um, that's what we call that N extrinsic motivation or situations externally outside of us that influence our interest as well. So interest is one source of motivation that influences the goals we pursue and how we pursue them. So in closing, to kind of sum up everything that we've been talking about, essentially we talked about the performance, we talked about performance goals, we talked about mastery goals, achievement goals, right? Anything else, gentlemen, you want to add in there? Just remember the difference is, just a review, what is a mastery goal again? To be confident. To be confident. And what is performance? To appear confident. To appear confident. And they come from those beliefs, attitudes, and interests, uh, interests that we have. So we're going to leave you with this final thought. What benefits come from thinking about goal orientations and interests? So we think about that, ponder on that, and carry that forward into whatever is coming next for you.